Hello YouTube, this is bdrew1111, gamertag bdrew93, and um, today's video is going to be about Windows 10. Um, it, um, they had a conference the other night, and um, the other day or whatever, and um, basically this video, uh, I'm just going to be honest here, um, I'm not, I'm not, I've never really been up on Windows, I'll be perfectly honest, I'm, a, I'm an Xbox gamer, and I know that's Microsoft, and I should probably know a lot more about Windows, but I'm just going to be honest here in the fact that I've never really been up to date on it. And um, and since the Windows 10 conference, I've done loads of reading about stuff that's been coming up on it because I think it's about time I, for one, especially now being a YouTuber, should learn more about um, all all that is like Microsoft and all things like that. And Windows 10 is a huge topic out there at the moment. And I think and what this video is going to be um, for basically is not only for my own gain in learning more about Windows 10 and what it entails and what's to come for Xbox, for PC, for Microsoft in general, all the like all the different um, uh, devices and stuff. But also, I just thought this video not only for someone who might know what they're on about, but like just for a bit of know-how, like if you don't know already, but also for people who are like me, not really up on it, don't know a great deal, but just want a nice simple video to just you know reel it off and what what I have found on the internet so far regarding Windows 10. So I'm going to apologise in advance if this video is not the most informative video. Um, as, like I said, I'm, I'm not really up on it. I mean, give me an Xbox One game or an Xbox app or anything and I could talk your head off. But with this, I'm learning myself. So this is, this is partially me doing a video for people in the same position as me who um, are just looking for an easy, inf potentially, possibly, hopefully informative video. And uh, I just hope you like it. So um, here we go. Um, to start, um, PC, um, the P um, Microsoft PCs will be um, receiving Windows 10, obviously. Um, just to throw it out there, anyone with um, Windows 7 or 8 um, for the for a year will um, be able to get Windows 10 for free. And basically, what Windows 10 is all about, from what I gather, is um, to cross-platform all Microsoft devices like tablets, mobile phones. Um, laptops, PC, Xbox, it's meant to basically um, be user-friendly so no matter what device you're on it is just seamless and all connected and and basically what like five different devices is hypothetically in a sense just the one device it is all linked all works in each other's pocket, basically. Um, the um, Windows 10 will be receiving an Xbox app for PC, and um, you, you'll have your games, your friends, messages, the activity feed, which will go cross-platform. So basically, someone on a PC with a Windows 10 um, Xbox app could uh, potentially like a video I've put on my Xbox One activity feed. Um, it's, it's, uh, it can message each other. You can voice chat across platform um, for PC and um, tablet and Xbox. Um, PC the PC can now use Game DVR on Windows 10 and upload to activity feed. It can be seen, shared, and liked over all platforms. So again, like I said, somebody could make a video on their PC, uh, a Minecraft video like it was shown on a video I saw earlier, um, upload it to their activity feed and then me on my Xbox or me on my tablet or whatever can see, like, share and um, it's just seamless. It's just, it's, it's, it's pretty impressive actually. And, um, and next on the agenda, DirectX 12, DirectX 12, sorry. Um, is uh, is on Windows 10. Uh, Windows 10 is enforcing DirectX 12. It is the main graphical um, thing that they're pushing through Windows 10. And um, basically, DirectX 12 is going to be a more stable. Um, it can handle more complexity on screen. There's plenty of demos on YouTube you can look at comparing like DirectX 11 and DirectX 12 and the capabilities. And um, they've also stressed that the hardware doesn't have to change, but DirectX 12 will improve all your current hardware. So, I, so with Xbox One, for example, um, the graphical improvement should be um, pretty significant. Um, and with graphics in mind, they've told you, they've said that DirectX 12 will be keeping a very, high, will be able to support and keep a very high frame rate. It'll give developers. Um, bear, bear in mind, this is across all platforms now, I believe, like PC and Xbox. Probably more so PC because obviously, 
Um, for, as for graphics, they can handle a lot more. But this principle is still there. This DirectX 12 is across platforms and will improve everything significantly. But obviously for PC, probably more so than anything else. But still, um, it'll be able to keep a higher frame rate. It'll give developers more of a finer control of the CPU and GPU. And for CPU bound games, um, this will increase the overall performance by 50%. Now, not that I'm a very technical person, but 50% is a lot. Like, you know, like, however you want to look at it, whether you know or don't know the ins and outs of a rat's ass, um, that for me is quite, um, that's a, quite a hefty amount. So, um, if, 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 they can, if, if for one, for example, the Xbox One, they can improve graphical um, fidelity by 50%, then bring it on. Like, I, 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 like I've said in my previous video, if they can improve it at all, why not? But 50%, wow. Anything between 1 and 50%, I'm, an, I'm, I'm, I'm easy, don't worry. Um, and power consumption, another type of power consumption for mobile devices. Um, DirectX 12 is being able to improve the battery life um, while pushing better graphical, uh, in better graphics and, and improvements on that front. So on a mobile device like a Microsoft tablet, Surface tablet or whatever, um, you can play and stream your games from your Xbox One onto the tablet um, while using your Xbox controller and um, you'll see your battery life won't drain as much, I'm presuming. And uh, with DirectX 12 as well, um, uh, Phil Spencer announced that Epic, uh, Unreal, uh, uh, and Epic have um, released um, Unreal Engine 4 um, and the people at Unreal Engine um, are adopting DirectX 12's power and it is um, and apparently like there are there is a lot of improvements to be had. Um, a company called Unity is one of the largest gaming engines um, in the industry. Um, I, I've never I personally have not heard of Unity. Um, I don't know if that makes me sound stupid, but but apparently um, with Unity adopting DirectX 12 as well as one of the main um, development like developers like um, engines to help games improve and all whatever. Um, Unity will unlock DirectX 12 capability for thousands of developers. So from low-end developers to like the highest, like you know, a lot of developers are going to get hands-on with this DirectX 12 and um, improve games generally, like massively. And again, like up to 50%. Like again, a lot. And any demo you can see on YouTube, which there are plenty of like the DirectX 12 comparison to DirectX 11, you can see straight off the bat that it, there's going to be some significant improvements no matter what. Um, next on the agenda, gaming across devices. Now games that are both on PC and Xbox, so like... Um, well, they've released plenty. I mean, the next one I can I can say to you right now is um, a f the next Fable game. That's been re and that's um, releasing on the PC for Windows 10 and on the Xbox One exclusive. So my, basically, they're going to start obviously bringing games exclusive to just Windows 10 products, not just Xbox One, because people say like, ha ha ha, Xbox One doesn't have real exclusives. They're they're on PC as well, but I think they're trying to bring PC Windows 10 and Xbox One Windows 10 together. Because like I said, it's seamless. They're, they're trying to integrate all Microsoft devices as just like one device. You can jump from whatever device and you can just continue from where you left off. So I, you can kind of integrate the two as like the one. So when they say PC and Xbox One exclusive, it means so then it broadens the Xbox Live community and makes it bigger. Because here, P, um, games that are on PC and Xbox, you can play across platforms. So I can play, um, say I have a game that's on the Xbox One and my friend has that game on his PC. We can play together as long as we have the same game over Xbox Live. I just think that's brilliant because um, it was only earlier. Um, I don't know the exact figure. It was either 50 million or 500 million like Xbox Live accounts, like like online people who are actually online, and it's like the biggest running, um, like internet. Um, oh, I'm gonna sound stupid now. Network, like gaming network, going, and um, by integrating PC as well, like I, it's just gonna grow and get bigger. 
Um, sorry my terminology and all that wasn't fantastic just then, but um, th that was pretty much improv. I, you know, I don't know a great deal myself. I'm just telling you what I've read on the internet and I'm trying to put it forward. I'm still learning myself, guys. Um, but yeah, um, PC will now have achievements on Windows 10. Um, streaming Xbox One games from your library to any Windows 10 device in your home. So basically if I've got, um, I'm assuming it's digital though, you have to have a digital copy, I'm assuming. I haven't read anything that said that, but say my Titanfall copy that I have on my Xbox One digital, as long as my Xbox One is on and, and what, and I've got like, um, say my Surface tablet downstairs, I haven't got one but I'm getting one, um, is connected Wi-Fi to my Xbox, I can, at the touch of a button, with my controller be downstairs playing Titanfall th from my Xbox to my tablet. So uh, that, that's amazing, I think. I think that is cool um, that you can take it anywhere. Uh, who knows, maybe it'll get improved again where like, if I'm at my parents' house with my tablet, I can just continue from where I left off on a game from my library. But um, I don't know where that goes. Um, I'm sure there'll be more information on it. Um, but the cool thing I do like is the fact that whatever device you're on, you can still use the controller. Um, it's not like you have to use the touch screen or anything. You can take your controller, whatever. So on your PC, laptop, tablet, you can still stream games from your Xbox and use your controller. Right, but that's um, that's it for like Xbox, PC, Windows 10, DirectX 12, gaming side of things. Um, um, I'm just going to reel off a few things that I've also um, that was also in the Windows 10 conference. Something which I'm really excited to mention. Um, is HoloLens. I thought it was Halo Lens originally. It's HoloLens. Um, it's Microsoft's new product. It's a um, it's um, virtual reality sort of goggle thing, um, but it's holograms. It um, basically wherever you are while you've got it on. Um, it looks amazing actually. Um, it, it definitely it's like a computer on your head basically. Wherever you are, you can it, you it just. Well, um, virtual reality holograms integrated with Windows 10s and its applications. Games like Minecraft, for an example, you can ha you can play in your living room potentially, like where you are, wherever you are. You've got your goggles on, and you can be playing, building houses, and doing what you know and love on Minecraft, but in your home with your fingers. That looks incredible. Hollow Studio, which is basically like Microsoft's Paint Shop like application, but on steroids. Um, you can like build things and oh, it looks incredible. Um, but I just feel this, because um, they didn't release a whole lot of information on it. Um, like the, the demo for it basically showed off that like, um, like potential like future for like domestic stuff, just normal everyday life. Like when you've got your goggles on, you can flick through the calendar, you can check the weather, you can in explore the internet, I'm assuming. And but one very interesting thing was on the demo, it's not like confirmed, but on the demo, obviously what they're building to achieve in the future, but a man was watching TV, like changing the channel, changing the size of his TV on the wall that he's watching it on. And there was no TV there. It was all in his, on these goggles, but to him there was a TV there. Just unbelievable. I just think there's a hell of a lot of potential for Hollow uh, Hololens um, in terms of gaming. I mean, like I know there's a lot of um, like I know Sony PS4 and um, I believe the PC. I don't know. There's a lot of um, VR like goggles coming out in the near future, and I think Hololens could really be a huge contender. I know. Get. I know they're bound to use it for gaming eventually. I think it's potentially good for art and design, like people who are into architecture and art and, and stuff like that. It's, it's got to come in handy for things like that. It looked incredible. One of the demos I saw, a woman was making like a spaceship and stuff. And um, hollow, hollow Lens has already been used for some sort of, um, like this company that makes stuff, um, uh, makes like robots and stuff for Mars, I think. I don't know the exact extent to it. It was very bleak on this write-up, but still, like... I think there's a lot of potential for this product and um, again for like general domestic use like a computer stuck to your head endless possibilities on what you can use it for as long as they can harness the technology but um, again only time will tell and there's no um, date on when HoloLens is out I don't think at least I didn't check so that was sort of a guess so I'm sorry <laughs> right um, um, and yeah just to end it guys I've got a few little pointers at the bottom um, they've released a new product called Microsoft Surface Hub, which is basically a 4K, a 4K, 84 inch, I believe the size is, um, tablet that mounts on your wall. It's a TV. It's got 
I imagine it's got Netflix, Skype, all the applications that you can probably get on your Xbox. It, uh, it's, it's basically a big touchscreen tablet, um, TV, smart TV, everything. It's, 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 uh, it's unbelievable. Check it out on the internet. Frankly, um, I don't know a big, uh, great deal on it. All I know is it is basically a big 84-inch 4K TV, tablet, smart TV, bloody everything, and on steroids. It's, it's pretty, pretty impressive stuff. And that is Microsoft's um, own brand. Um, and another thing, Cortana is coming to Windows 10. So um, basically, just to simplify it, it's a UI servant. <laughs> um, basically like Siri or Connect, you can um, navigate through the UI by voice command. Except it, um, except it remembers things. Like it'll over time pick up on things that you do, maybe, pat maybe like uh, habits, things you go on regularly. And over time it'll generally um, improve the navigation for the individual. And be, it'll be a personal thing. And um, and, and it, it basically again, I keep using the word steroids, but like Siri, but on steroids. You basically it'll remember everything and um, and things you do regularly, and it'll be like a personal thing. It'll get richer and more personal as as the more you use it. But um, I'm not sure if that's coming to Xbox One or or anything. But I know it's going to Windows 10 on PC. And um, yeah, just to end it, I've said this already, but for one year, people with Windows 7 and 8 can get Windows 10 for free. So anyone out there with Windows 7 or 8 on their laptop, PC, tablet, whatever, why not? Get on the download. Um, but that's it. Again, guys, um, I'm very new to, win uh, to anything like this. This is all my own research. I've just done plenty of Googling. I've been, on, uh, I've been home from work for about two hours now. And last night I was reading about it. I've got it finally down in bullet points on paper. And um, I just hope that for anyone out there who, like me, is just learning and, and trying to find out about stuff because you're not really up on it, that's what this video is for. So um, hopefully you liked it, guys. Uh, I, I'm, I'm sure there's better videos out there. I don't mean to sell myself down the river, but I just hope that, you know, I just hope that this is any good. All right, cheers, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.